everybody, we're Mike and Brenda Baker, and this is video six in a seven part series that we're doing, which is seven emotional issues that women deal with in remarriage. And today's title uh, for this specific video is when husband won't step up to help with the house chores. <laughs> so, why won't your husband step up? That's a great question. So have you, I'm just curious, ever asked your husband which chores he would like to do or is willing to do? Or do you just get upset when you see that there's a bunch of dishes in the sink or dinner needs to be made or such and such kid needs to be dropped off on, at basketball or whatever the case may be? Do you just assume that he's going to see those things? Sorry, hun, it's not going to happen. Most men need that reminder. They need you to be willing to, without a grumpy attitude, just say, hey, hun, could you? And yeah. then add in what it is. Not, hey, hun, are you going to? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, because that, that infer, it just, it creates more problems than, than not. The, uh, I, you'd be surprised how many husbands don't really realize what their wives want them to do because the wives think they're communicating to them and they're not. Remember, dudes are very focused on one thing at a time. If your husband's doing something, he doesn't see anything else, okay? He sees what he's doing. So don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm trying to finish up dinner. Can you take Billy to basketball practice? Hey, I'm trying to finish this up. Can you take out the garbage? You know, don't rather than get upset that he didn't see it, be proactive and just communicate with him. But ask him too. Hey, the trash needs to go out and the dishes need to be done. Which one would you like to do? And you'd be surprised how many dudes will snap up that trash. Uh, there are a few dudes don't mind doing dishes. I don't mind doing dishes. A lot of dudes are just gonna, but it's just a, it's a good way to give him an option. And then that makes him feel like he's contributing too. Right, and I'm always thankful that he likes to do the dishes because that is seriously my, my least favorite chore in the house. And we don't have a dishwasher. No. It's, it's yucky, but he's so good. He always helps me and it's always in the moments where if I had one more thing to do, I might just have a meltdown. <clears throat> but ladies, your, your husband wants to help you. Yes. They're just, they're not, they do not play on the same wavelength that we women do that. That's not to say that they're stupid or they're bad or they don't want to help you, but Honestly, if you ask them, and especially if you, you know, make sure that you're doing things to help them out, you know, I won't go there, but you know, as long as you're in encouraging that behavior and giving them a wink and you know, you making it worth their while, they wanna do what you're asking them to do, okay? And we have those things on purpose. God gave us uh, women those little ways of doing things for our husbands that, you know. You'd be surprised how much a dude will get done. <laughs> Here I am beating around the bush and then he's, you know, I'll just anyways. say it straight up. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, you know, like Mike already said, you really have to watch your tone. You have to, you have to word things in a way that don't, they're not belittling him and they're not making him feel like you're trying to be their mother. They don't like that. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> tone tone means a lot with men now. Tone are pretty or tone. Men are pretty gruff with each other, right? There are certain tones men uh, understand about each other. That's why we insult each other, all right? So <clears throat> that's just it's just how we are. It doesn't make sense to you, but our tone tells us that we're kidding. Right. When you turn around and you use a tone, most of the time we know that you're kidding, but a lot of times we don't know the difference between you're serious mm -hmm. and you're angry. Okay? Meaning you either need me to do this or you think I'm too stupid to see it needs to be done. <laughs> so <clears throat> really watch your tone. Tone communicates so much with a man. And our, cul our culture, you know, everything that you see on TV and such is usually women being very, very negative to their husbands. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. That is actually breaking marriages up more often than you might believe or even yeah. really understand. Treat him with respect. We got to remember that men's number one thing that they want from you is respect. And we women forget this because the number one thing that we want is we want love. 
We don't want respect usually first. Yeah, it goes both ways. I mean, men want men want love, but we want respect first. Mm -hmm. And typically, she's right. Respect is right behind love for women. Right, exactly. So uh, another thing that you can do to really help him, and this is actually tip number three, is to praise him when he does things well. Men really, they love that pat on the back, and they really love it if you say things around their friends and family. Tell them why. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking... He never tells me when I'm doing a good job. Okay, that is irrelevant at the moment, okay? If you praise him, he will more than likely begin to praise you here and there as well. Yep. Okay, it's reciprocal. Now, we don't do it because it's like this tally in our head. We, you know, I mean, it's not the way it is. <laughs> so, for men, you know, we change a, a doorknob and we want the whole neighborhood to know. Hey, yeah. come look what I did. Hey, look, does that look professional or what? And it's because we're looking, we're fishing for praise. Now, is every guy that extreme? No, I'm not that extreme, but I know plenty of men that are. So just but, keep in mind, praise will go a long way with him beginning to even see things that need to be done without you saying it. Yeah. Well, and I'm pretty good about praising Mike, and he's really, really good about seeing things that need to be done. But he I had to train myself to do that. I'm not saying he's a mind reader, but he's... Darn close, because <laughs> things usually get done. Good for you. I You're try. such a good man. I try. Anyways. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Those are just tips. Do you think we should share anything else? Or no, just... I think that's good. Okay. Well, that's all we're going to share today. And we're so thankful that we were able to share this lesson with you. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is one of the you know, three of the many things that we teach our students. Um, because these are all basic principles but somewhere in the shuffle, they've gotten lost in our culture. Mm -hmm. And we are here to help <laughs> with our culture not overtaking the marriages because we're seeing what a terrible thing it is on the kids and we don't want to see that for your family. And so that's why we're doing these videos. We hope that this video helped you. We hope that you can glean something out of this that you can use today and that you can help your marriage to thrive in whatever situation that you're in. We thank you so much for being with us and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.